Yo guys, it's the 30 and 1, 25 KOs, leader of the Church of Girth, Prince Patel. And in this video, I'm going to give you guys a weekly roundup on what's been going on, who I've been speaking to, what sort of action has happened for my return, at, well, my next comeback, for my second fight back in the UK. And I'm going to give you a review on what I actually think happened in my fight in last week. All right, let's start with the return to the UK itself. Now, wow, where do I start? Um, obviously, advertised for the match, um, told people I was fighting, didn't tell people the record of the opponent, so the opponent could have been zero wins, 100 loss, or it could have been someone that was 40-0 and 0 in the world ratings or a world champion or whatever, but I never advertised who I was fighting or what I was fighting for. Um, I just wanted to show the world that there are Princeaholics, there are Prince of Maniacs, and they do come out in their numbers. And um, I think we, we proved that. I think we blew the blew the whole roof off. We had the the most atmosphere in the whole night. Um, I don't know what it was like from the outside for you guys there, but me inside the ring, I've never had a pop like that before. I've never heard that sort of energy um, whilst I've been in the ring. So I really, truly am grateful for you guys. Um, the fight itself was on off on off for like the last two weeks beforehand as you guys are aware that I had a match all the way in um, in Africa two weeks two weeks and three days before the match so literally uh, literally 17 days before the match I was competing in Africa and I didn't want to have to compete in Africa it's just the British Boxing Board of Control made me be active on box rec before I was able to fight in the UK so I had no choice because obviously at that point I'd sold over 200 tickets I had no choice but to quickly make sure that I had um, got my quick match in that resulted in a quick KO and um, yeah I come back to the UK the match on the week was yes no yes no the fight was approved and not approved and approved and not approved and that was the reason why we didn't have a title on the line. We originally were supposed to have a couple of titles on the line, but it never happened. Instead, the board agreed to let us do a 10 round non-title fight, which is what I did. And I didn't really need 10 rounds. I didn't even need eight rounds. Um, I didn't even need six rounds. Um, just disposed of him inside five rounds. I'm pretty sure you was all entertained and you was all happy with the fight itself. Um, talking about the fight, so, oh, oh, normal nerves in the changing room when I come out and I saw everyone waving the flags um, and the thing is with me it weren't just like Indians waving the flags it was you had black people you had white people you had different people of different ethnicities all waving the flag because they were there for one thing only and that was to support me on my quest to become the first ever Indian world champion so yeah um, come in the ring after hearing the pop that you guys gave me when I come out um, fight started um he had won nine fights in a row all by ko since his last loss i know he's a big puncher in the first round he caught me with a shot which i thought okay okay good power here and then um yeah we sort of just i just sort of had a, a lazy first round which i would i would probably slide to him it felt in the ring that he deserved it but watching it back i thought maybe it could have really gone either way and then on the second, I start reading into him, landing some good counter punches, even though um, the commentary which was there was terrible. The commentary was just diabolical. Like, it's like you got people commentating about boxing who don't even understand the sport of boxing. It's like, it's embarrassing, especially when you look at what they've done in boxing and then they're trying to criticize certain fighters. Like, not necessarily my fight, but even the other fights, they were trying to say, like, they didn't understand how one of the boxers had 20 years experience because he looks like he's a novice and to me that's an insult you're, you're, you're taking slight digs at people unjustifiably for no reason whatsoever maybe they was a bit bitter but the actual fight is my fight back to my fight sorry yeah it was good stuff man um he it was action-packed he gave it a real good go for himself but thankfully I've been blessed with the power of the punch. You know, I've been blessed with that. I've always had good power in the amateurs in my 36 wins out 24 KOs. Not many people in amateur boxing would have 24 KOs and 36 wins. And they were coming through 
dropping guys, through knocking guys out, stopping guys. It was I've always had the power and um yeah, um my power got me out of a bit of a problem in that fight. I wouldn't say a problem because it was competitive, and then I hit him with a body shot which fractured his rib according to the, the medical reports after. And um yeah, he was unable to recover, like he just kept holding me. Um, I don't blame him, of course. I'm a very, very attractive man. So, given the oppor- given the, the situation, I think any person, man or woman, would want to hold on to this, if you know what I mean. But um, yeah, so he grabbed hold of me and stuff, kept holding me. Then round five, I knew, I knew when I was in the corner at the end of round four, that this is the round he's coming. He's, I'm getting rid of him. This is the round he's gonna be taken out and dropped in with a great, absolutely spectacular right hand, as you guys saw. And then I finished him off with a body shot as he was unable to continue. One a hard body shot, just a well-placed body shot because of my earlier damage that I'd done to him. So yeah, man, that was all good. Um, what else happened on that night apart from you guys just blowing the roof off all 326 of you who specifically bought tickets from me? I think in, in the whole venue, there must have been over a thousand people though. For small hall shows, that's quite an accomplishment. Um, what else happened? Tyan Booth turning up. Well, what can I say about that? Um, Boxing King Media come down with Tyan Booth because Boxing King Media recognises that Prince Patel equals ratings. The masses at home know Prince Patel equals ratings. Tyan Booth coming down was a good... I think it was good. It was good. done good numbers. Got thousands upon thousands of views. Um, got people talking. Um, and Tyan seemed happy about the performance himself, but yeah like i just think it was um it was me and him have never met before i'd seen him at shows never spoken to him before he used to work for ifl at the time now he's got his own thing called tifl when he was working for ifl he actually expected me to come up to him to ask for an interview but i didn't do that because i don't normally ask people for interviews have recently because i've been off the radars a bit so i've been asking guys but in the last couple weeks now actually people have been asking me non-stop non-stop even the big ones like the IFLs and stuff like that, they've all been asking me. But yeah, like Tyan was there. As Tyan said, he couldn't even fill a tenth of what I sold. And I'd done what he said people are looking for. They're looking for KOs, getting people out of there. And that's what people paid to see. So they paid to see basically Prince Patel because everyone knows amateur wise, I was 36 wins, 24 KOs. Pro wise, I'm 30 wins with 25 KOs. I'm just a knockout machine, man. Just a knockout machine. All right, guys. So what else can I say? Okay. What's been happening this week? I've had Eddie Hearn mention me in an interview. Well, Coogan Cassius mentioned me. Because obviously Coogan knows Prince Patel gets them all important ratings. But Eddie said he'd be happy to work with me pending I take a serious fight. I've always made it clear to people that I want to fight guys in the world ratings. I want to become the first ever Indian world champion. And I can't become the first ever Indian world champion without fighting guys who are at the very, very top. And that's what I'm after. So if Eddie's actually serious, we can um, we can, we can can get something going because let's, let's, let's look at the facts. Um, very, very marketable. I put bums on seats. Well, actually the bums weren't on the seats. The bums were off the seats, just in excitement. I think excitement, you know, getting to see the prince, getting to see the great one moving around, laying the smack down. So yeah, obviously, if Eddie's serious and he actually wants to have a packed audience, because obviously recently he signed someone who goes by the name of Gollum, um, who doesn't sell tickets and usually fights in an empty tennis court. In my case, I fought in a leisure centre. I think it was a basketball court or wherever it was. But that was packed to the rim. And uh, yeah, if he wants to have some serious matches with packed crowds, he'd obviously get in contact. So I'm waiting for that. But what's next for me, man? What's next for me? Big Dean White's been saying he's speaking to a couple of TV promoters. It's just about arranging that meeting and um, hopefully we can get a world world champion because I'll be in the world ratings now that I'm back active once the May ratings come out and we can arrange for a world title fight because that's what I want next and that's what I'm destined to do. I'm destined to become a world champion and as you can just see by my face, I look like a guy that has not took much damage and yeah, the only only damage I take is literally these. When they hit someone's face or body, 
yeah it's not it's not it's not good for them it's not good for them as i said before the real weapons of mass destruction that's where mr biden needs to look all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video i know i haven't uploaded for a very very long time hope you guys enjoyed this one make sure you like comment subscribe and in the comments like tell me what you want to hear let me know what you want me to talk about and i'll talk about it all right guys peace from the prince